In this problem, we're going to find the area, area and the perimeter of the yin-yang symbol. We're only going to find the area and perimeter of the blue shaded region right here that I'm tracing in orange. And let's go with the area first because it's a little more, uh, it's quicker to do. Now, if you notice, this symbol right here, the shaded region, is exactly half the area of the full circle. So all we need to do is compute the full circle area and cut it in half. So half of the area is one half times pi r squared. So we're just going to do the pi r squared and then multiply it by one half at the end. And this is going to be one half pi r. My radius is 68. We're going to square that. Uh, and this is all there is to it. Uh, do make sure you square the 68 before you multiply by pi and by one half. This question wants two decimal places, so uh, if you want to use the exact, I believe you use pi for the number pi, or you can use the approximation 3.14159. That should be enough decimal accuracy to uh, get this question right. So that covers the area. We're going to look at the perimeter now of the shaded region. Now there's two pieces of this perimeter. I did trace them out in orange. What I'm going to do is draw them separately. Uh, I could draw them together, but I'm going to redraw that bottom part separately and draw it a little bit lower right here. So the top half, this, this part right here, is half of the circumference of the big circle. So this perimeter, perimeter, let's just call it P, uh, B for the big per perimeter, the big part. This is going to be one half times two pi r. Uh, Sixty-eight is the radius here. So this P B is one half times two, and the one half times two cancels out, so you can just uh, not worry about that. That'll cancel times pi times 68. So the big perimeter is 68 pi. Now we're going to do the small perimeter. That's this sort of S shape right here. And the way we're going to do that, there's two pieces to it, and if you take this second piece and move it over, you could think about it as one single circumference of a circle. But this smaller circle is half the size, half the radius of the big circle. So this radius is half of 68, which is 34. So this one will be 34. Now on this, uh, I'll call this the perimeter of the small, PS, perimeter of the small. This is 2 pi r. We don't cut this in half. It's a full circle, but the radius is small. The radius is 34. So this ps is 2 pi times 34. 2 times 34, that's 68 pi. Coincidentally, these are both 68 pi right here. Uh, we do need to add these two numbers together. So we have 68 pi plus 68 pi, which is 136 pi. So it could, uh, could be accepted as that. Uh, you can also just write pi as 3.14159. All right, and that should give you these two answers.